This cask uh, is going to have just distilled water and sodium hydroxide in it and I want to see the uh, formation of brown scum occurring. I'm reusing the plates from the previous two tests but uh, that shouldn't be a much much of a problem. Alright, uh, starting temperature 79 degrees and here we go. I'm registering 15 amps for me get. So I got a fairly high concentration of uh, sodium hydroxide in here. At 12 minutes I have 100 degrees in the water, uh, about 20 amps on the ammeter, and I still am not seeing any appreciable amount of scum. I'm not even sure if there is any. The brown has not begun to form yet either. At 1320 I'm hearing a popping noise. I wonder if that's an indication of arcing. At 1530 I got 106 degrees in the water, 20 amps on the ammeter, no scum, no brown. At 1635 I note that when there's popping it's becoming more frequent. At 20 minutes 30 seconds I have 114 degrees in the water. No scum, no brown. I don't know how readily that can be seen but there appears to be a brown-ish film on the plates. At 21 minutes and 30 seconds I noticed it at about 10 minutes but it was much slighter then. At about 22 minutes, I'm overpowering the battery charger. So it's kicking off. I'd say this is the end of the test. So at 22 minutes, with distilled water, sodium hydroxide, and high concentration, there's no scum and there's no brown. Except for a little brown that seems to be forming on the plates. Well, it's a good thing I went off to do something else, come back and find out that uh, the battery charger has worked through its little problem and we're now at 26 minutes on the test. I'm showing 122 degrees in the water. At 26.45 I note that the popping sounds have pretty much quit. There's still no brown. There's still no scum. At 35 minutes I'm encountering uh, battery charger problems again. I'm showing 133 degrees in the water. And when I look down into the water from the top, it's just barely got a tone to it. Which makes me think maybe it's got a little bit of brown forming. This is at 35 minutes and a half. Stopping the test at an hour and five minutes. I had 140 degrees in the water and now what I'm going to do is compare the color of the electrolyte with distilled water. This is a comparison of the distilled water to the electrolyte after an hour and about five minutes of electrolysis. There's 
a slight difference in color just a little bit and there was no scum at all I let the water sit for two days while I was out of town and now I want to take a look at it it still has kind of a tint to it but if I look down in the bottom I can see a precipitate very small amount but still some stuff precipitated out of the water after the test uh, it's mostly a reddish color I'm not real sure what it is though but uh, one thing I've learned is ordinary tap water if it's got a lot of minerals in it definitely makes this worse